So you said that THQ is giving you issues? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, uh, so when I got to, when I got to, uh, to Callisto, which is what it was called, it was mm-hmm. Callisto USA and there was Callisto France. Um, they were, they had, sorry, the team in Austin had signed a deal with THQ to create a Spongebob game uh, with Nickelodeon. I'm sure Matt told you some of that stuff. And that mm-hmm. was the artists basically were the impetus for this. We were using technology from uh, Callisto France yeah. to make a demo. Nickelodeon bought into it, so we started working on it. And then um, what was happening was Callisto France was providing our technology, and we were doing all the content creation. And what that meant was we were using their game engine um, in ways that it really wasn't supposed to be used for, uh-huh. um, which is its own story. And we became more and more dependent on those guys making changes for us. So that was uh, that was kind of a, a big risk factor in everything we were doing. Mm-hmm. And as the um, as the deadline to finish approached, we called. Uh, we were waiting on a drop from France. They didn't they didn't turn it in, or like so we called them up, and nobody's answering. And we found out that they took the entire month of August off. Callisto like, did? What? Yeah. They were, that's just the way France does things, apparently. And so we were like, it would have been nice to know. And then sometime around then, um, their pyramid scheme of building demos all the time and make, getting money to make the game that they're never going to make kind of crashed. So they went bankrupt. And we had to take over building the rest of the engine to finish the game. So at that point in time... Callisto didn't exist, so Matt and myself and three others uh, decided to form Big Sky kind of out of the ashes, and then we were we were going to finish. We did. We finished the game engine, so it could release both SpongeBob and Jimmy Neutron at the same time. Gotcha. Um, all right, so that kind of covers the transition from Callisto to Big Sky. So then we started working on uh, working on finish the pro- finishing the project. We're getting closer. And we were having some fun getting THQ to pay their milestone. Mm-hmm. So like every month or so was a turn in work and then they were supposed to pay us for that milestone. Mm-hmm. So we had situations where we would turn in our turn in the milestone and they'd just drag their feet until the last the last hour before the bank closed before they would before they, before they would approve their milestone and put it into our bank. Gotcha. I mean it was bad. The team had no idea that was happening because that would have destroyed all morale. Mm-hmm. But the management group, we would be sitting in there on the phone with THQ, going, "Look, when is the uh, when when are the funds going to drop? When are the funds going to drop? When are the funds going to drop?" And then maybe like the, the hour before the bank closed, they put it in there. Our relationship with THQ was uh, strained, I guess you might say, during yeah. all that time. And somewhere, somewhere as we approached becoming finished uh, with SpongeBob, we had already gotten a couple of other deals lined up. I think one was with Mattel, and I'm not sure about the other one. Matt might remember um, the other one. So we had these other gigs lined up to do. And um, I did ask him, I was just going to say, I did ask him uh, about that, and he he was not able to clarify what they were. He just knew that you guys had some other projects that you were trying to get going in. Yeah. One of of them was with Mattel, and I'm not sure what the other one was. I know there was one called Terminal Code that you talked about in an interview. But other than that, terminal code. Yeah, I'm not sure what that. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe that was another team we were trying to spin up. It's possible. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and call. I don't remember on that one because I don't. Um, I. I would tell you if I couldn't talk about something. No, I just straight up don't remember that. And yeah, I think I remember that was Wendy White and Rob Carell. We were gonna bring on to do another project. That seems. That seems right. But again, don't don't. Don't quote me on that. You could ask mm-hmm. Matt if you wanted to. So we had gotten these, we had gotten these deals moving, and uh, THQ, this one guy that was there named Jeff Lappin, he uh, uh, he had called us and said, "Hey, we're thinking about you know joining forces with you guys. Would y'all be interested in that? Or you guys really want to remain independent? Or you know what are you thinking?" And we gave it a lot of thought on our side, and we said, "Look, you know, we like working, you know, we like working with THQ to a degree." And, you know, we kind of liked the idea of staying independent and doing the things we wanted to, and you know, having the opportunity. Are you there? Only one person or one company, you know, giving, writing you checks. So we're like, not really that interested. So we were like, no, we're going to stay independent. And Jeff was like, oh, cool, no problem. You know, we want to, 
you know, we want to work with you guys, so let's just see how things go and finish the project out. We're like, awesome, this is great. So, um, right around that time, we kept, you know, trying to get moving forward with our other projects, and we weren't getting any phone calls returned. We're like, man, everything was cool, um, and now it's not. And we were so busy trying to finish, you know, SpongeBob and Jimmy Neutron that we, you know, we're like, okay, we'll just kind of deal with this a little bit later. And then as we got finished, it turned out that we still couldn't get the word back from other companies. We knew that if we didn't, we were going to die. It was like, you know, you either have another project or we're going out of business. So what happened was uh, we never were able to do that. And we started tearing down that barrel of that gun that was like, look, we're going to be completely out of money. We had to tell, tell all the teams that, or tell everybody in the company, we're like, look, you know, we didn't get these extra deals, um, which means we're not going to have any extra money. So we have to survive on, you know, our money from SpongeBob. And we're not going to get all that money until the last, well, not get all the money before we get our last paycheck until the game ships. Mm-hmm. So, you know, here's the thing. We can all quit right now and go our merry ways, or we can try to finish this thing. And if we finish it, hey, guess what? You know, the heroes and everything, the game can ship to get it. And all is good. And so the team thought about it for a while, and they decided that they were going to go ahead. And to do it, we had to put some people, I mean, some people had to be laid off immediately. Some people needed to be on, you know, on and off. We worked out a deal with everybody so that they would um, they'd be able to succeed and work on their resumes. we get the game done, work on, their, work on their demos to get their next jobs. Then we managed to ship it, which is, which is its own enormous saga on its own. <laughs> and when we did, we wound up, um, everybody, everybody came in to do the work that they had to do. They contracted for the stuff that, you know, that they could contract for. They stayed in the building and did little stuff to make sure we got finished. And sold all the computers to everybody, you know, for a nominal fee just to kind of make it so that somebody didn't take 50 computers. Yeah. It was like, okay, we sold them to that. And then uh, they had a car. We had a silent auction for it. And I wound up getting the car that the company owned and then uh shut everything down and i think we had like 12 or 1500 dollars in the bank and we had a party and that was that okay and it sucked yeah <laughs> and, and the game industry if you haven't already heard this before basically you work yourself to death until you don't have a job you work yourself out of a job at the very at the very end of shipping game. Yeah. yeah so we crushed Sorry, we worked ridiculous mandatory overtime to finish that project for forever and since I was the producer in charge of making sure everything was linked together, I crunched forever. Mm-hmm. Stupid. And uh, yeah, only to only to lose my company and my job. Fantastic. But the game did well. It won a game of the year thing from Nickelodeon and all that. I've, I've read that it didn't have great reviews online. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. I've read that it didn't get had great sales. It was fun meeting people that out there that, you know, had the, they're like, this is one of the best experiences I've ever had with my kids. We played this game forever. Yeah. Well, I, I got right. it when I... I've talked a lot. No, it's good. Go I, know, I was just going to mention that I, I got the game when it came out, when I was, like, really, really little. And I always oh, liked right. it. And, um... That's, yeah, me too. I, I, I enjoyed it. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, uh, and that's kind of why I wanted to work on what I'm working on is because of the little information on the internet, like on YouTube and everything about it, everyone thinks that because of the bad reviews of SpongeBob and some of the technical issues it had, that's why Big Sky closed down. And that's the oh, no. that's everything no, that people like to spread around about it. Yeah, it's, uh, it had to do with a executive, um, and I'll tell you how I found this out. I found out that he killed he killed us by doing by getting us blacklisted. I found that out because I have a friend uh, in the industry. I have a lot of friends in the industry. Of course. And he wound up working at a um, another company after Jeff left after he left THQ, and Jeff was in a board meeting one day, and my friend was in there. He, Jeff didn't know that he, that guy knew me or anything, and so uh, Jeff starts bragging about how you know all oh, these little companies that say they don't want to join up with us at THQ. I just think this guy black was the same. never work again in industry. And I was like, what? he said what? And he's like, yeah, man, that's why your company got shut down because Jeff Lapp is black was interesting. I was like, I was like, what? I was like, hey, man, at least that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like, you know, if there's speculation as to why we got shut down or whatever, hey, guess what, man? And unfortunately, that's a, a reality for us. 
a lot of other companies and people is like, you know, the forces behind that. The unseen forces are the things that really affect you. That's、mm-hmm. what happens.